Well, Felix, it's great to catch up with you. In your career, 3,500 winners, 75 at the top level. How do you reflect on your riding career? Uh, Edward, I was just very, very lucky, you know. I had a very good grounding because my dad was a trainer. So, I, I, you know, I had like a head start. And I was very fortunate to always get good opportunities. And like I say, lucky, you know. I had trainers supporting me, giving me good rides all the time. And even in my years that I came to Hong Kong, wow, you know, trainers supported me well. I was just talking to John Moore this morning and he was talking about Makapura Star that I rode for him. And, you know, Ivan Allen gave me good rides and Tony Cruz really, really helped my career a lot too, you know, very fortunate. You had a great association with Tony Cruz. What effect did he have in your career? Oh, enormous, you know. The day, the day Tony retired, I went to him and said, please, can I come and see you? And um, I went to his house and I went to just picked his brains and asked him about a whole lot of things that were, you know, in my head that I wanted to find out. And, and he was very uh, forthcoming with his advice and so on and, and very, very helpful. Later on in my career, when, when, when he was training, then when he retained me, he helped me so much too, you know, both with advice and with the horses he gave me to ride to. <laughs> Silent Witness was the big horse that you both had together. What an amazing run that was, and to share a champion like that together. Yeah, just an absolute privilege, you know. He, uh, it's a once in a lifetime kind of thing. And uh, gee, you know, from the day that he came, he was just something really, really special. He just wanted to go flat out from the, from the beginning. Silent Witness goes to the lead. He draws away Silent Witness, worth waiting for if you bet him. Silent Witness wins easily by three. Just describe for us, Felix, you in a racing mad city like Hong Kong, you're riding the champion, Silent Witness, that's truly captured the imagination of the people, and you're the rider. What's that feeling like? Well, you know, it, it didn't put much pressure on me. It was more excitement because this, this, this animal, you know, the type of thing he could do to you was you'd be coming up for a race and You'd, be, you'd have your concerns because, you know, there was a new young horse coming up or something that had showed terrific speed in his previous run and you thought, were well, you going to get taken on in the lead because he always led. And it happened to me every time this horse ran, Silent Witness. I'd go out for the final gallop and I'd be walking onto the trotting ring and just the way that he used to walk, the confidence that he showed, he put that all through to you. And it's, it's difficult for me to describe it to you, but he just gave you such confidence and you knew everything was going to be all right. The champ's got a big heart side up witness. He fights back. He's all heart. He's a great horse. Even to put on the colours, you know, it was like an experience because you knew it was something special. Coming onto the track, I'll never forget on the one day, um, it was International Day, and I was just on the track here and I looked over at the crowd. They had the big uh, Archie de Silva's colours there big flag of it and they were waving their little flags and it was like the whole grandstand was there for us you know and I'm not that kind of person but just in that moment I punched my hand in the air this was trotting to the start you know <laughs> and the whole grandstand erupted and I just thought to myself wow you know this is this is something really really special the world champion wins in a canter He's too good, silent witness. Is he the best you've ridden, Felix? Ah, oh, yes, 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 definitely. Look, a few have come very close, like Rocket Man, um, but uh, Silent Witness was head and shoulders the best. She was really, really special animal, and the instincts that he had in him, he was, he, he, he had like a, 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 a real wild animal's instincts. He was so sharp and aware of everything that went on. Silent witness, I'll never see anything like this again in my life. 17 straight, stand cheer, applaud the best because he's just got better. We're fortunate enough to have you still here with us in Hong Kong, Felix, now looking after the apprentices. What can you tell us about your role there? I'm very fortunate to have this position. Um, very exciting, lots to do every day. And I must start at the outset and say, you know what? It's, it's a collaborative effort. These kids, they start off in China and having never ridden before. So it's those instructors there that teach them, you know, the very basics and then go to Michael De Beer in the second facility in China and then they get taught to ride in the jockey style and so on. And, and then they come here. But all the teaching and so on that goes on with so many people around these kids, you know, supporting them 
every step of the way, right through to when they go overseas for their overseas training, you know. Um, it's, as I say, real collaborative effort and, and it's not just about uh, one person. What are the lessons from your riding career that you try to bring to these young riders? Well, you know, the, the, the basics. I like to really stick to the basics of having a good work ethic and just trying to do your very, very best every day. Um, if they can get the basics right and get a good foundation with the basics, boy, that's going to take them a long way, you know, rather than to get distracted with a lot of other things. Is there any, anything specific about the Hong Kong environment too that you try to teach them, given how unique a racing jurisdiction it is here? You know, to keep the motivation up is, is an enormous thing because they have a lot of exposure here with, with the, the TV and the newspapers and that sort of thing, and also an enormous amount of money. So, you know, as a youngster, you can, you can waver a little bit when, when that all comes very quickly. So to try and keep them focused during that sort of thing um, is, is a large part of it and very important. McQueen still in front from Lucky Girl, then leading horse and General Sherman. Here's history. Kei Cheung, four winners here at Sha Tin this afternoon. Kei Cheung, first season here. She won the award, the Tony Cruz Award for leading local rider. That was some achievement from her. Yes, it was, you know, and she was a 10 and 7 pound claimer at the time and she did well. She rode aggressively and um, competitively. Her timing was good at the time and horses were running for her, you know. So she, she did really nicely that season. Divine Boy is clattering home, but it's going to be another one for Matthew Poon, the golden boy. Matthew Poon, the boom apprentice at the moment, the Poon train. Yeah, come here with a big rap, you know, and um, I, I hope he's able to, to cope with that, you know, because there's, there's, there comes with a, quite a deal of expectation. And um, at the end of the day, he's only human. So, um, you know, I'm hoping that he's able to, to cope with that mentally. And on the other side, riding-wise, physically, he's got a few things to iron out that we're working on. And uh, I, I hope that we're able to achieve that. We're doing what we can for him. You're not the only Kutsi involved in the racing game now either in Hong Kong. Uh, Felix, of course, on Wednesday nights at Happy Valley, we get to see your daughter Kat perform. <laughs> yeah, you know, she came over for a holiday, Edward, and um, she just wanted to get away for a bit. And she's crazy about playing music and so on, and brought her guitar with her, and she was playing somewhere, and then they saw her, and Aunt said, well, you know, come and give her the crack at the beer garden. So she's, she loves it, you know, she just, lives that life that's all she wants to do <laughs> how do you go behind the microphone oh no 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 i'm a shocker <laughs> i can't sing a word and i can't play a note <laughs>